All right, guys, uh, here we are, sixth ever episode of the Parkland Podcast. I'm here with senior volleyball players Maggie Smith and Maddie Siggins. Thank you guys for coming on. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Um, how excited are you guys to be here today? Very excited. Ever since it started, I kind of wanted to be on it, so I'm glad I finally got the opportunity. I couldn't wait eighth period. I just like kept looking at the clock because of how bad I wanted to come down here. Yeah, that's what a lot of people have said. They're yeah. just like really dying to get on this show. Mm -hmm. Um, so people were starting to say because most of our episodes have been all guys that like I don't know how to talk to girls. <laughs> um, do you think would like what do you think about that? Do you think I know how to talk to girls? I think you do. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You think I'm not? I'm not like weird. Like no, I'm cool? not at all. No. I appreciate that. You're welcome. So, um, I think we're just gonna get right into questions if you guys are ready. Yeah, we're ready. Go ahead. So, if you guys had to be stranded on an island and survive with one girl on the volleyball team, who would it be and why? And don't say each other. Okay. Hmm. Maggie, you could go first. Okay. Hmm. I'd probably have to say. I'd probably have to say Ava Best because not only is she smart, she's very funny. So like even in like if it gets hard, we'd find a way to joke about it, and jo like joke about it. like having no food. Yeah, just mm. like being stranded. So I feel like it would be fun to have her on an island with me. Um, I would definitely say Sarah Fury. Um, she's one of the funniest people I've ever met. And you guys want funny people. What about like no, resourceful like, people? Like we would figure it out. You would figure it out? We would definitely figure it out. I have a feeling out. that's not true. I don't think <laughs> we would. We just have to <laughs> use a lot of our brain, you know? Like yeah, all of it. All like all of it. Like, <laughs> all hundred <laughs> percent. Um, all right. So uh how close would you guys say this year's team is compared to teams of the past? Like how how tight are you guys? It is completely different than past years. Like this year we're just so much closer like we're all like sisters like we all talk to each other about like everything and like we park next to each other we walk in together like we go out to eat together like we do like everything together mm -hmm. so i think that just creates like really good chemistry and like even from the beginning like there's not multiple friend groups like everyone's at like one friend group which makes it a yeah. lot like tighter than it has been in the past definitely um i just think our senior class is like really close i mean we went to texas roadhouse and had ava best on the like saddle so ever since then i felt like we got really close and it's just oh, so since much fun. that time at texas roadhouse yeah it was just really hit different you know mm -hmm. <laughs> we faked her birthday and then you they faked sang. it and got you get something free <laughs> for that sang to her Oh, did you, they give you like a sunday or something no they didn't they just had her ride on the like saddle horse thingy I've actually never been okay. to Texas Roadhouse. You've never that had those like time. bread? No, like yeah, it's like I've heard it's really good, but it's so good. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. You need to go there, Nolan. I've never been it. there. i I go Fake to like Red Robin. And you can ride on the saddle. I go to Red Robin experience. and they give me free ice cream when <laughs> I say it's my birthday. So oh. I guess it's kinda like a similar thing. Yeah. Um Are you guys gonna win districts? Anything can happen, but we think we ha like we can do it, but I'm not I'd saying hope so. that we will. But oh, not not confident. No, I'm confident. So you don't think you're gonna win? Oh, uh, I think we can. It sounds like you don't think you're gonna win, Maddie. Do you think you're gonna win? I think with all the things that we've worked. Yes on, or no? It was a yes or no question. I don't know. Like anything can happen, but I'm really <laughs> I don't, confident. I don't know. I'm really confident. You, you should know. be confident, but yeah. you should say yes or no for the podcast. This is being filmed the day before the district championship. Who do you guys play? Liberty. Are they good? Yeah, I would yeah, say so. Good. Better than you? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Past <laughs> matches haven't said that, but you never know who could have a good game and who can have a bad game. So you always have to be ready for anything. Obviously, you got to be ready. So are you going to win? It's not a yes or no. Cause it's not a yes happen. or no? <laughs> no. Well, tomorrow night it will be. So I guess we'll see. Yeah. Uh, we really obviously wish them the best of luck in that. So Thanks, good luck. And yeah. next question: Do you guys have a person you would like to credit some of like your success in volleyball to? Like someone that's been like a motivator or a inspiration for you or anything like that? Definitely, Coach Kraus. Like he's helped me not only like with volleyball, but like in life in general and recruiting and stuff. Like he really was like the person who helped steer me in the right direction with everything and helping me find um 
what I wanted out of volleyball and like honestly really helped me towards Loyola and stuff. So mm-hmm. um, I have two. Um, the first ones like our assistant coaches. Um, they're like really good coaches. I mean, we can come to them about like anything on and off the court. And the mm-hmm. second is probably our trainers. Like I think our whole team is in there before practice, mm-hmm. and they just always like help us out no matter <laughs> what it is. Um, Hello. I think that's a good answer. You guys are definitely always in the trainer's room, especially <laughs> when the football team should be in there and you guys are just like taking up all the seats. Sorry about that. It's all, all right. right. We'll, um, we'll talk to everyone. Do you guys have a purse? Oh, I just asked that question. <laughs> so who would you guys say on the volleyball team is the most outgoing? <laughs> I think I know who it might be. Be like either you or I feel like you or Ava best. Um, I feel like Ava will do anything that you ask her to do. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I would say so. We have a sophomore on our team named Kasha, Mm -hmm. and for her to be the only sophomore and to be so outgoing as she is, because normally when I was like on varsity as a underclassman, I was so scared. But yeah. her, she just like fits right in and she's so outgoing with all of us and just has her own personality, which is really cool. You're like a shy little lamb. Something like that. Something yeah. like that. I was terrified of like our upperclassmen. Why? Mm-hmm. Like Bryn what? Dreisbach, like she, I was like, I would have to block against her every practice. So I was like, oh my gosh, you know. Could she slam it? Yes. She was slamming it? Slamming it. I got it. hit in the face twice by her. Wow. Yeah, she's crazy. Yeah. I'd like to experience that. <laughs> um, <laughs> do, you, do you guys um, listen to music before the game? Yes. What type of music? Um, <laughs> just keep going. Um, like rap or pop. Yeah. Like, wh- like give me an artist. So pop smoke. Oh. Pop smoke for you? Um, yeah, pop smoke. Can you start singing some pop smoke? Yes, I do. All right, what? <laughs> Wait, oh, yes, oh, I do. oh, like, do I sing <laughs> no, at practice? No, like, can you right now? Nolan, I have to say that for practice, you know? No, you got to do it on the Parkland podcast. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. You got to do it on the Parkland podcast, which, by the way, is now sponsored by Amada Senior Care, which provides in home givers and helps seniors with long-term care insurance manage their claims. Visit www.amadaleivalley.com for more. Thank you. Um. Yeah. So, sing some pop smoke. Listen, Nolan. I love pop smoke, <laughs> and I have a banner above my bed. But I will not be singing pop smoke. You won't be singing pop smoke. Are you serious? Yeah. Sorry. But if you come to one of our games, you'll see me like lip sync sometimes with pop smoke. So. Speaking of lip syncing, we're actually gonna do something with that later. Great. Um, oh God. Maggie, can you give me an artist that you listen to? Um. Honestly, it's just kind of variety and whatever my brother tells me to listen to, because I'm not big into like rap i'm more of country which a lot of people hate on i'm sorry but um but he gives me a lot of suggestions but yeah mainly like pop smoke and drake maybe drake mm-hmm. can you sing some drake no i will not be singing <laughs> you guys are boring all right sorry no one so what <laughs> position would i play if i played volleyball what do you think <laughs> I think you would be a designated server. <clears throat> Do I and, serve? Yeah, like I feel like you could be a really good server. I Yo. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I feel like you would actually be a setter because you're kind of. Aren't you like the quarterback of the defense? Like of you're course. kind of like you kind of like know how to like rally others around you. So I feel yeah. like you would have a good like leadership role on the court. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> you guys like this plant? I do. What is yeah. your favorite thing about it? It's very vibrant. Vibrant? I have to say, yeah. Is so it y- fake? Or is it real? Like a real plant? Do you want to touch it? Wait, hold on. Wait, I don't know. Uh, I just think... Uh, you hear that noise? Okay, yeah. Does that sound fake? No. No. Wait, no, I don't know. But it's a cool plant. I don't know if the mic's picking this up, but <laughs> I feel like it's very iconic. It is very iconic. It's been here since the beginning. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Um. Do you think it would uh have a role on your volleyball team if it tried out? Yeah. What would it do? Um, 
be on top of our lockers so we can look at it every day. It wouldn't play? Wouldn't get any minutes? I think I mean, it could play over you. Yeah. You think so? Yep. Oh, well, you just said you didn't think so. Well, like, I think it would be, like, a good, like, thing to look at every day, like, when you're in the locker room. But, like, um, yeah, I think it could honestly play over me, too. Yeah. Both. Both, yeah. Yeah, no, I could see that. Yeah. Um, Other than the plant that we were just talking about, what do you think makes this podcast so awesome? <laughs> you're laughing. Is this podcast not awesome? No, one. I think now it's... Now it's the water bottles. No, and I think it's you, to be honest. It's like, me? Yeah. I'm that awesome? Yeah. I oh. think you're just so funny to talk to and, like, be around, so. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. What do you think? I think it's you also. Oh, you my God. You have a good, like, stage presence. <laughs> this is... But a... I think it's also the water bottles. They have the a Am- good touch. The Amato water bottles? The hey. best senior care area in the Leah Valley? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a good pop of color. <clears throat> it's very lovely and very vibrant. Um. So, Maggie... You're wearing that shirt. Loyola, you're going to be spending your next four years there playing volleyball, right? Yep. What made you go with Loyola as a decision? Um, Honestly, it was kind of like a collective between like the academics and athletics and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a very – it is on the smaller side. Um, and I always thought I wanted like a bigger campus, bigger environment feel. But I kind of like the community like atmosphere there because – Especially when I went on my visit, like the professors want the best for you, the coaches want the best for you, and like it just seems like a very tight knit campus and university. So mm-hmm. honestly, it was all of that. That sounds lovely, uh, Maddie. You are committed to East Stroudsburg for basketball, actually. Yeah. What's why'd you pick them? Um, I think it was just like being on the campus. It was just like a feeling kind of thing, and like yeah. I love the coaches and players, mm-hmm. and I got to go to a practice and to see them play was just really cool. Yeah. And your brother goes there, too. Yeah. So that's got to be kind of cool. Yeah, I'm excited. He'll be a senior and I'll be a freshman. Mm-hmm. But he has a house, so I'll be able to go over and yeah. hang out with them. Off-campus house or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's awesome. And easy for your parents, too. <laughs> yeah, they, really easy. They know where they're going. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I have for questions. If you guys have any questions for me, I always open it up, but... Sometimes um, people don't have anything. I have there. something for you. Oh, what's up? So, do you guys think that you have a chance at winning districts and states this year? Well, uh, unlike you, I'm going to give a <laughs> definite answer, and I'm just going to say yes, 100%. We have a chance. All right. Um, who do you think would you end up with in districts? What do you mean? Like, like who, who do you think gonna you're going to like play against? Yeah. Uh, probably Nazareth. Nazareth. Yeah. And um. What is like your game plan? Do you have anything in mind that you're gonna do differently against them that did the first time or? Well, you did you think about this before? No idea. This I'm just like in come, I'm interview. just like I. She's on the fly, man. Like I just like been thinking, like you know, like I like watching you guys play this year. Like you guys have a lot mm-hmm. of energy and stuff. A lot so. of energy, a lot of good players. Yeah. Um, what would we do differently if we yeah. play Nazareth again? Yeah. Your- mm-hmm. I mean, there are definitely some. Uh, we we didn't play a perfect game. We we won, but. Definitely on the defensive side of the ball, um, we just need to um, know exactly what we're getting ourselves into, like with their formations and like our matchups, and mm. just kind of like no pre-play. Kind of, if we have a better idea what they're gonna run, obviously we'll have a better idea of what how to stop it. So, mm-hmm. I think if we do a better job at that, we should definitely be in better shape than we were before. All right. Okay. Now I have another question. Oh wow. Okay. Mm. So, who is your favorite football coach and why? Oh, I don't know if I could say that. Why can't you say it? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. True. Yeah. Uh, I like all the coaches. You know, who's They're your most there. influential then? Most influential coach. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, it's probably been uh, Coach Brad. He's a uh, the quarterback coach, but he's like he's a younger <laughs> guy, and yeah. he's easy to talk to, mm-hmm. and he's like he can like joke. You could joke around with him, and like he'll get like high school humor but at the same yeah. time like he is older and he has a level of maturity and he can like help you with like serious things and like planning like next steps of your life and stuff like that so probably oh. him but all of my coaches like yeah. they all do different things for me that i'm really appreciative of okay i have one more question oh okay I have one too, then after. oh okay yeah knowledge. <laughs> oh, okay. um like what's one thing you're gonna miss from high school once you leave one thing yeah like the vibe like you won't have to wake up at five o'clock or six o'clock every morning well 
thanks to Mr. Roberts, I don't have to wake up until 9.30 every other day. <laughs> so shout out Mr. Roberts. I know he watches this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I won't miss or will miss. I forget. You will miss. like. I you. will miss uh, definitely like the camaraderie of high school football. Like just the fact that I've been playing with these kids since I was like eight. And it's going to be if I play football in college, which mm-hmm. I'm trying to decide and figure out it'll be different and obviously new people yeah that i'm not like grown with so i will definitely miss like all the relationships yeah that was a good answer good good question okay so my question <laughs> how does it feel to be a fan of an nfl team that isn't doing very good well actually uh <laughs> i'm a fan of the denver broncos and we just beat the kansas city chiefs um the other weekend so what happened against there's a the so. This is a bad week to ask that question. I don't know what happened against the Dolphins, <laughs> but um, we're on the come up, and I'm just going to say Broncos country, let's ride. <laughs> is that it? That's all? We got That's enough questions it. in? Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to cut to our game now. And All right. So Maggie and Maddie got their headphones on. We're going to be playing a game where I'm going to have these cards, and I'm going to read the phrases off the cards out loud to them but they've got their headphones and they got music blasting they're not gonna be able to hear and they're gonna try to guess what the phrase i'm saying is so let's get into it are you guys ready you get you can turn your volume all the way up can you hear me you can't hear me no all right purple strawberry pop tarts <laughs> Purple strawberry pop tarts. <laughs> purple strawberry pop tarts. Blueberries is the first word. Purple. Can I? Purple. Purple strawberry pop tarts. <laughs> pop tarts. Pop tarts. Pop tarts. Blueberry pop tarts. Purple. Purple. Strawberry. Strawberry pop tarts. Yeah. Purple strawberry. Pop tarts? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Are, you guys ready for this one? <laughs> Amada Senior Care Living. Amada Senior Care Living. Liver? <laughs> Wait, say it. Um, Amada Senior Care Living. Amada Senior Care Living. <laughs> Is liver the last word? Amada Senior Care Living. <laughs> All right. It's four words. Amada. Say it real slow. <laughs> <laughs> Amada. Amania? <laughs> Eyebrows! <laughs> <laughs> Amada Senior Care Living. <laughs> I can hear the Travis Scott. Amada Senior Care Living. Amada Senior Care I Living. I just seen Armana. What do we do? What? Senior. Steelers. Senior. Sneaker. <laughs> Senior. Senior. We're all seniors. Senior. Senior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am so lost. Senior care. 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 Okay, care. Amada Senior Care. Standlers? Dan? (laughs) (laughs) I can't understand it. Amada Senior Care Living. Living. That was way too fast. Living. Living. Eleven. 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 Eleven? Living. 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 You're talking too fast. Living. 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 living living it's an l not 
Ja. Living. Living? <laughs> living. Living. Okay. Care living. Amada Senior. Adam Sandler. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Amada Half? Senior. A. Ma. Da. Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> Amada. Amada. Senior care. Amanda. Senior care. Wait, can we turn the, our music off? What was it? Amada. Senior care living. <laughs> oh. Wait, say it. Wait, what? Um, sorry. <laughs> Amada Senior Care Living. I kept seeing Amana. I said Adam Sandler and Liver. <laughs> I can't hear what you're guessing though. Yeah, because so, like, I don't know. On. Yeah, so I don't know what you're guessing yeah. and if it's right. Like when you, I think you said she got a third yeah, one. I would take these on a bus ride. <laughs> like, Maddie, these are so, so loud. loud. Okay. The perfect plant. The perfect place. Plant. The perfect. The podcast plant. No. The. The. Perfect. Perfect. The plant. Plant? Plant! The perfect plant! Yeah. Ah! Uh, did I not say that? Okay. Good? Yeah. Spaghetti. Podcast? Smelly? <laughs> Wait. Say Spaghetti. Piper? Mariah? Wait. Say <laughs> Spaghetti. The podcast. <laughs> <laughs> One word. One word. One word. Yeah. Spaghetti. Spray. Sp Plentiful. <laughs> Spart. Spa. Spy. Getty. Slim. Spy Casey. <laughs> what? <laughs> Spaghetti. Bal Spider. Baloney. Spaghetti. Bunny. <laughs> Money. <laughs> okay, second word. With. 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 Eyeballs. <laughs> I'm. Eyeballs? <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah! Eyeball? With eyeballs? What's his eyeballs? <laughs> Sp no cheating. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Me Spa. Wait, first Spy. word? Yeah. Spa. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Spaghetti with eyeballs? eyeballs? Spaghetti and eyeballs and meatballs. Spaghetti with eyeballs. Spaghetti with eyeballs. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right, ready? Ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Are you going, Maggie? Is yours on? Okay. Mr. Roberts. Mr. Roberts. Mr. Roberts. Is. Is. Iron Man. Uh, Mr. Roberts is Iron Man. Iron Man? Yeah. What? Say it again. Iron Man. Say the whole Iron thing. Man. Say the whole thing. Mr. Roberts is an Iron Man. Good job. Talk quieter. Sorry. Okay. Pumpkin. What? Pumpkin. Pumpkins. P pumpkin. 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 Yeah. Spice. Smells. Spice. S pumpkin spider. Spice. Spice. Pumpkin spice. Yes. Latte. Pumpkin zombie. Pumpkin spice. <laughs> spice. <laughs> Pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Pumpkin spice. <laughs> Pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Parkland Podcast. We're very thankful for Maggie and Maddie for being on here today. Uh, who do you guys want to see on here next? <laughs> I don't know if anyone like specific, but I feel like you should go out into like other parts of Parkland, whether it be like theater or the arts or like to show the diversity of the school. Of course. Or teachers. I like that idea. I think you should have the boys basketball team, um, Nick Koval and Jaden Thomas. Oh, those are pretty good athletes. Pretty good. Pretty good basketball players. We could definitely see them being on here in the near future. Uh, thanks again to Amada Senior Care, the Lehigh Valley's 
most trusted resource for caregiving and long-term care insurance claims advocacy. All right, it's been a pleasure having these two on, and we'll see you in the next one.